To extra perspective from a breast cancer survivor, today is National Mammography Day. Susana Rosales did all the right things, getting her routine mammograms, and routine they were, all coming back fine for many years. That was until one of them wasn't, and a diagnosis almost didn't happen. Okay. Sitting here in our ABC7 studio, Susana Rosales looks strong and healthy, but on July 7th, 2018, she felt anything but. When I was diagnosed and they told me that I had cancer, the first thing that came into my mind was that I was going to die. But the first sign of trouble came months earlier. She noticed a lump her doctor had been following getting larger. But I thought maybe it's because, you know, I'm working out, I'm, I'm losing fat, so that's why I, you know, um, I know I'm noticing it more. She waited several more months, but the lump was still growing. Another trip to the doctor was needed, except Susanna had another problem. I wasn't going to do it because I didn't have the money. I had I, I didn't have everything. So I told the, one of the girls, you know what, um, I need to reschedule because I don't have everything. What Susanna didn't realize at the time was she was speaking with the manager at Desert Imaging. She didn't let Susanna reschedule, instead offering a payment plan. Did she save your life? She did. She did um, because I was going to reschedule. But I think God puts angels you know, around you. What followed was a grueling fight, one that put her faith to the test. I believe in God and, and I always thought that I was David and that this Goliath was not going to um, destroy me. And all that time, that all, the, all those times that I wanted to throw the towel and I would say, no, I'm David. She finished her chemo on Valentine's Day. That same day. My sister told me that there was going to be a 5K and I told her, you know what? Let's do it. Just two months later, she did it, going from one finish line to the next. Now years later and officially in remission since September, she's on a new course that has no finish line in sight. David won. You look back on it now as a victorious David. What does that mean to you? I feel reborn. I feel that um, I have a second opportunity to do things different, to do things right, to help. That's my main goal, to help. Um, How have you helped? And help is exactly what she's done. Susanna tells me she's been volunteering at various events, but her real passion is for wigs. She says getting hers when she had to shave her head is what made her feel like a celebrity, and she now donates wigs. This month, we've teamed up with Albertsons and the San Luis de la Casas Cancer Foundation for Give Hope. In addition to telling the important stories of survival, Albertsons providing Susanna with a $250 gift card, and we wish her... Best of luck as she continues her journey now in remission.